The Microvision mid-range LiDAR sensor uses time-of-flight distance measurement technology to capture a 3D point cloud for use in applications such as ADAS, autonomous vehicles, industrial and warehouse automation, SLAM, augmented and virtual reality, interactive entertainment, Internet of Things, and many others. The sensor uses a MEMS-based PicoScan engine to scan an IR laser beam. As the beam bounces off of any surface in the sensor's field of view, its reflection is captured by a photodiode receiver circuit. The round-trip time of flight is measured at each point in the beam's scan. Using the speed of light, the time of flight is converted into a distance measurement, resulting in a 3D point cloud. Here we have created a false color visualization of the 3D point cloud captured by a prototype LiDAR system. We have mapped each distance in the point cloud to a color. Distant objects appear purple, and closer objects appear yellow. Jonathan, one of our engineers, is standing at the back of the room. As Jonathan walks forward, his color will change from purple, to magenta, to orange, and finally to yellow, with each color indicating the changing depth measurement picked up by the sensor. Here we see a conceptual mock-up of the LiDAR sensor product. It consists of a Microvision PicoScan engine. Instead of visible lasers for use as a display, the scan engine contains a single infrared laser. In addition to the scan engine, field of view expansion optics and an IR photodetector circuit are added to create the mid-range LiDAR sensor. The demonstration we just saw renders 2 million points per second with a 45 degree field of view running at 60 Hz. The first generation Microvision Time of Flight LiDAR product will export a 3D cloud of over 5 million points per second with a resolution of 512 by 360 at 30 Hz, with a 90 degree field of view. Up to four units can be combined to achieve 180, 270, or full 360 degree coverage. Unique to Microvision's MEM scanning technology, and unlike other LiDAR systems, the sensor resolution can be adjusted dynamically at the expense of frame rate or field of view as needed by the application. We expect to have engineering samples of a mid-range LiDAR sensor product before the end of 2017, following up with a product launch in 2018.